Hey, Danny and Mike listeners, before we get to the episode today, I wanted to ask a favor. Our new network, The Last Podcast Network, is doing a survey which will in turn improve the content that you hear. It only takes a minute, it's all confidential, and it's just some questions about your listening habits. You can find the link in our description of this very episode. Two, three, four. The world was so big, and I was so small. Your voice was always the loudest of all. Uh, this just in, uh, handed to me. We've got uh, one of the uh, podcast originators. It has uh, been identified as Michael C. Morona in the emergency room with acute abdominal pain what acute abdominal pain while working in the south bronx he took ill and uh eventually many hours later after the street sweeper moved and he found alternate side street parking walked himself into the worst emergency room in new york city woodhull hospital Ooh, that's a bad one and complained of his symptoms welcome to the adventures of danny and mike to my right mr danny tamborelli i'm on the scene and on his right Mr. Michael C. Morona. I'm the one being interviewed from the gurney. And my name is Jeremy. Thanks so much for tuning in. Uh, if you uh, are just tuning in, if you're listening to this episode, Michael has an announcement to make. I'm not dead. <laughs> He's still well, alive. Thank goodness for that. He's not, still alive. I am not dead. Um, yeah, I, it sounds like you've had a rough uh, few days here. Six, so. <laughs> six days ago at this time, I was uh, I was recovering from an operation. To uh, to remove my appendix. So yeah, much like the operation table that we've thrown uh, Tide Pods into. O- operation cor- live, Operation Cornhole. Operation Cornhole. Because wow. there's definitely appendixes in there, dude. That's foreshadowing, isn't it? Yeah, it's almost it like was your it's idea. A deep foreshadow. Yeah, too. you thought about it. You wanted it. Yeah, Jeremy gave it to you. Well, and then, yeah, yeah, you gave it to him. I printed it. But you did all the work, really. Well. You cut it out, Mike. I'm getting credit. You cut it out, Jeremy. There's that picture. There's yeah. a picture of some dude cut in Antarctica. It out. You know, there's that. <laughs> there's a picture of some like uh, doctor in Antarctica who's performing surgery on himself because he has to. You should check. That's a that's a good not fact check, but that should go on the website. Cause okay, that's, oh, it's a picture of this dude straight up like fixing his intestines or doing something, and he's, like, working I, on himself. I'm, I'm the only one qualified here. Yeah, I swear. <laughs> that's basically what it was. Sorry, uh, there are uh, only four people. So, yeah. So that's basically what Mike did, right? Uh, no. Oh, I, no, uh, you had somebody else do it for you? I waited. Like I said, I was good, and I waited for alternate side of the street parking. Found a, <laughs> found a, a, fry, uh, a Thursday spot, so I parked there, and then uh, suffered overnight in the emergency room and got operated on in the morning. How, what does it yeah. feel like? Like, how did you know that you were like, oh, I have to oh, go I to know. the hospital? Because I still have my appendix. I'm 40 years old. Still had my appendix. I'm 40 years old. And, uh, and it's very specific. But did like, you think it was your appendix? Right away. How do you know that? Yeah. <laughs> you how do you have know been that? Because like, I'm a nerd. Your liver could have been kidney failure, gallstones. Because I'm a nerd. Uh, because. Kidney stones. Okay. Give, what's it, what's the symptom when, for you to, to. To feel that, We're oh gonna, my gosh, this is my appendix. Here we go. Uh, it's there's 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 the big five, the big Mike, five. To the listener, Mike has a printout of uh, looks like a script. He's going to read. <laughs> so it's, this is it's some, some rough urine, notes. I have his urinalysis right rough here. No, yeah, rough <laughs> notes from my uh, rough notes from my one man show called Appendix: An Unnecessary Man. So you so you parked your car and then you started having pains or were you like oh, feeling no. weird? Oh, no. He was having them full on. It's like he was going into labor but still decided to abide by the rules of law, which is uh, really amazing and commendable. I didn't yeah. want to, I didn't want to tick it on top of it. <laughs> <laughs> on top, on of, top of surgery costs. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, the big five is fever, vomiting. Okay. Uh intense, you vomit sometimes, int- so that's uh let's not talk about our reunion. Okie dokie. Uh so the the big five are fever, vomiting, uh, intense abdominal pain that moves down to the right, which I had down into the right. Yeah, not it, okay. It fo- it follows your it follows the appendix. Yeah, and uh, there's there's two other ones that suck. Couldn't walk right mm-hmm. because of the binding okay agent in here, 
And uh, what was the other one? Oh, I couldn't shit and I couldn't fart. You couldn't shit or fart? Yeah. I wouldn't know that something was very wrong with Michael if he couldn't fart. Yeah. Shitting, that, you could be constipated. I'm but saying, you've, you, set, I've, you I, set your watch by me farting. That's true. That's true. Every time we go anywhere for the weekend, Amazing. I don't bring a, I don't look at my phone once. Yeah. I know by the, I know. <laughs> I know. Sun's just out. By, no, yeah. it's just like a, oh, we get in the car. I don't, well, I guess it's three thirty. I don't oh, look. I'll at hear from my you again phone. after five. Oh, there. <laughs> I've been reliable in our travels with our, uh, you know, our uh, not eating blood puddings and Ooh. not eating. Right? I've been I've been good yeah. on the on the road. You know, we do indulge when we indulge, but for the most part, I I feel like I'm insensible. So I don't know where the frick this came from. Yeah. And uh, I woke up in the hospital. My uncle works at the hospital. I luckily have family like throughout the healthcare network. Mm-hmm. If anybody, you know, just hit me up after the sh- <laughs> after the show. <laughs> you need to go to Woodhall. Mm, but I woke up to Uncle Tommy. You know, he's he was. Uh, I was whacked out still, and I was like, ah, with my dry with my dry mouth. Really? Yeah. What, well, what? they operate on you. Yeah. I had anesthesia, so I woke up extremely dry, parched. Yeah, yeah. and. Uh, I was whacked out. And then my mom came by later and Adele came by with G and it was so great to see my son. And then so tough to not be able to pick him up and have to keep him off me. Yeah. Cause uh, I was scared about him punching me in the gut. I should right, wait right. at least two years for that. <laughs> Until he starts understanding all my snide remarks. <laughs> Maybe he already understands. Uh, yeah, but I'm not allowed Got to a jabby elbow. Exactly. He just, it's going to be a power forward. And I, I feel like, uh, just needed to rest and uh, for about a day, and I, le- I left on Saturday afternoon. And you're up. You're walking around without a ticket for the listener. Yeah. For the listener, and if you're watching, you can see. But uh, Michael C. Morona is is a man who wears Carhartts in jeans, jean shorts, cargo shorts, high raised ones. Okay, you anything just... that had a belt. A belt, a belt buckle on him, but could uh, you cut back on like half of that so I could maybe meet some people in my life? <laughs> <laughs> hey man, you gotta do. You gotta wear what you gotta wear for the job, man. You gotta have. You gotta have pockets for stuff. Got it. I understand. Yes, but you're in these very nice ski. Oh yeah, they're like, of, uh, they're like they're not like normal uh, sweatpants. They're, these are like ski. Like I, I'm in the lodge hanging out after at prey ski. They're, they're, These are at prey ski. They're, they're uh, fleecy sweatpants. That's fleecy. It. From the good there people at are. REI, which I'm sure they're not made here in America. That is not a brand you don't hate. No, it's a brand actually that I like. Yeah, uh, okay. I don't know if they'll sponsor us like any other. Well, maybe they can because, look, you're recovering in their clothing. So we're just going to read you a little bit now. Oh, okay. The, hit, hit us. Okay. End of the last, end of the last, end of the first paragraph. The patient tolerated the procedure well. <laughs> I'm going pa- to pass this. I'm going to pass this okay. to you. Right. Uh, the appendix is thickened and measures approximately nine millimeters in transverse dimension. There is evidence of periappendiceal and perisecal inflammatory change. First thing. <laughs> That's like yeah, fecal change? You, parasecal. Parasecal. It's like, oh, pure, like the ass end of your large intestine. Uh Minimal, minimal thickening involving the base of the cecum is noted. What does that mean? Exactly. You take your mind and run. Previous findings <laughs> are consistent with acute appendicitis, I, a.k.a. he was right. Acute appendicitis. Okay, you, you, so you walked in and you said, I think I'm I, having an then, appendicitis. Yeah, and then nine hours later, I was in the, I was in the operating room. Wow. Uh, you're starting from lower thorax. Oh, lower, lower thorax. Lower thorax. As uh, we continue. The lung bases are clear. There is no evidence of uh, pericardial or pleural effusion. Meaning that my my heart and lung uh, membranes were okay. all... Okay. Yeah. Then nothing got affected. Yeah. Abdomen and... I want Jeremy to read abdomen okay. and pelvis. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Okay, that's a big one. It's a big paragraph, Jeremy. Do you want me to read it like the uh, microphone? Can you read it? Guy? Can you... No, don't read it like the microphone. No, no. I want guy, you to wrap you, your mind around I want around you to try to... Make sure you say all the words right and throw out your uh, Ohio public education. Oh, shut up, Jersey. Wow. (laughs) Abdomen and pelvis. There is evidence of calcifications involving the dome of the right lobe of the liver, suggesting calcified granola. Uh, Granuloma. That's what I said. No other focal level (laughs) massages 
are noted. The gallbladder, spleen, pancreas, gallbladder, you said gallbladder twice, kidneys, and adrenal glands are unremarkable. Damn, you got Whoa, unremarkable adrenal unremarkable glands. Unremarkable adrenal glands. I wanted you to, I wanted you to get to not only, Not only are they unremarkable, but they mentioned gallbladder twice. So they're saying your gallbladder sucks. Um... <laughs> Uh, there is no evidence of intrafetic or extrafetic bilary ductal dilatation. There's no evidence of parastranding or hypernosis. <laughs> All right, do you want to do the bowel? Bowels? Oh, oh, you know I do. Show, show, tell us about your bowels. Oh my god, this is this is a very <laughs> interesting podcast. There is no evidence of bowel obstruction or ascites. Oh, get it? I see. What the they greater did there. omentum, Pun. the greater omentum, and small bowel mesentery is. Unremarkable. Thank you. Uh, okay, this is great. The urinary bladder and intrapelvic structures are gro- unremarkable. Grossly unremarkable. Wow. <laughs> that's like that's like a B plus. I so think. wait, when when they say unremarkable, that's good because they're like, fuck, yeah, like nothing. Yeah, nothing, nothing's going nothing on here. here. Nothing, nothing to, to see here. here. Move along. Yeah. Move along. <laughs> so, on my chest X-ray, they say you're very chesty. Gro- visualized osseous structures are grossly unremar- unremarkable they were, bones. They were visualizing mm-hmm. his chest. My mm-hmm. bones were fine. The Check it out. The cardiac silhouette is normal in size and position. You know what that means? Mike Morona's heart is in the right place. <laughs> <laughs> My heart is in the right that place. That is documented, so, ladies and gentlemen. Future, that is that. <laughs> you you could, bust out that paper. always have like, that. <laughs> There Michael is, C. Marona's heart is always <laughs> in the right place. There is no consolidation, vascular congestion, or pleural effusions. That's a that's good. I yeah, think. yes, that's good. And there's no evidence. How do they get into all this stuff? There is no evidence of pneumothorax. Well, thank God. Pneumothorax. Uh, pneumothorax. It's a biology themed anthrax cover band. It's like yeah. learn learn to breathe. So, okay. So you so <laughs> so unremarkable is good. Yes, that's all I've that's learned great. from this so far. Yeah. Right. What what happened was everything outside of that puffed up little yep. thing that looked like this at the end of my at the end of my large intestine. Everything else was remarkable or grossly unremarkable. Mm-hmm. Except for my liver granola. Yeah. As you. Yeah, what's that liver granola like? You got to stop eating that shit. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's so crunchy. <laughs> yeah, and I had um, I had like a lot of uh, chicken broth and sugar-free jello and, and apple juice. Right. Apple juice is big in, in hospitals. hospitals. Yeah. I, I, didn't, uh, I didn't have the tea each time, and my mom's like, oh, I'm taking these tea bags. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> Classic. Never, never, never grew out of it. She wrapped uh, them up in a napkin. They wrapped them up in a napkin. <laughs> decaf tea bags. You know, you never have oh, too yeah, many. Yeah, you never have enough. Never have too yeah. many of those. You never know when you want to bust out a decaf. Yeah, just enjoy a tea, but not all the way through. And when you, uh, <laughs> when you get, when I got, uh, when I got home, I just kind of like shuffled up the stairs very, very slowly. Did um, <laughs> did as slowly as it took you to tell that. What happened? Is there leaking? Uh, Something leaking? Maybe I'm just sweating. Yeah, oh that's me gosh. sweating. That's yeah, me sweating, cool. thinking wow. about my so plight. So what's happened? You, you've, you've lost, <laughs> you've lost your appendix, and you've gained <laughs> some extra sweat glands. Because I ain't sweating in here. Well, this is a well, first. Not. You've got a, you've got a sheen. You're glossy. I'm over I'm not sheeny. glossy. You're sheeny. But you, you understand that you're not wearing fleece. I'm wearing my ski. Yeah, it's. <laughs> It's true. Yeah, I'm wearing I'm and triple. I've tripled the insulating power. But you're always wearing thick power. socks, and and just so you know, the, the I don't always wear th- thick socks, but these are thick socks. these are some wool action. You're, you're 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 cozy. Did he call me a thick socker? Well, yeah, you're definitely a thick socker. Uh, but you're a thick sock. Your 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 thick socks are your thick socks make you warmer because if you have a little bit of a uh, uh, breathability on your ankles, that's where you. That's where you get your heat and cold. You're basically from, begging him to take his socks off. And yeah, that's yeah, a really bad idea. Drape them, right? drape really them idea. on your, drape <laughs> no, them on your you. microphone. No, yeah. thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, so no, when? No, 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 no. Wednesday, uh, went to a baby. Wednesday night, went to like a baby development class, and then had some ice cream after, and I started feeling shitty on Thursday. So mm. I don't know if I don't know if you blame the babies or the ice cream. Blame Mr. Softy over, yeah, do they over tell by you, Union. Do they tell you why? By the flat iron? Yeah, no. Like no, 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 no. They can't reach backwards in time. Mm. 
It's well, a public hospital. What you, would you think I was at? They can't reach backwards in time, but yeah. they can't say many different things probably cause them. Hit me that. up once more, I, Danny. I will be pouring your Polar Seltzer Ruby Red Grapefruit It's brought flavor. to you by the fine people at Polar. Polar. Yes. If you're looking for a delicious, non-alcoholic, watery, carbonated beverage. It doesn't get much better. It doesn't. Polar. And there are new Polar. flavors are coming out. So New flavors are coming out. We heard Keep your heads up. And one of these days, one of these days... We'll 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 get through to them. One of these days, you know, we we are now we are now know. new uh, uh, members of the last podcast. The last network. podcast. The network. last podcast. So, so maybe network. they listen to uh, yeah. you know, one of their shows, and, and and now we can get in. Maybe That's we get right. some more street cred. Uh, are you saying so. this is this is the bubble in the door? This is wow under the cap. Oh my god! Before the storm. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, the storm is, you're two for three. And two out of three ain't bad. You know, I worked with him. Uh, you worked with Meatloaf? Meatloaf about What did he die of? Five, he's still, he, he looks pretty bad, but he hasn't died yet. He's okay? But yeah, he looked. Uh, he doesn't look so good, huh? No, nah, he, he's a little, he's he's up there though. Yeah, well, yeah. you know, Fight you, know the, you know the rules, man. You got to refrigerate meat. You know, Meat Loaf's been out there for at least 40 years. Okay. <laughs> and you call yourself a comedian. Get out of here. <laughs> Um, uh, did I ever tell you that uh, my dad has this funny story? He had a friend who was a uh, is an Italian immigrant. It, it, did the Italian immigrant get appendicitis? No. So then, what? I mean, so what the fuck is the story about? Well, it's about meatloaf. Go ahead. And uh, he called his buddy to hang out one day, and his mom picked up the phone. She speaks, you know, Italian, broken English, and only Italian. So he's like, "Hey, is Mike home?" And she goes. Oh, Mike, Mike in the home. Mike could go see a meatballs. And then I asked my dad, I was like, does that mean that he went to go see the movie Meatballs? No. The, and he's like, no, that was out before my, after my time, son. She was talking about meatloaf. So, anywho, that's you can cut that out. What happened? <laughs> that's, that's what happens when you punch a meatloaf really hard and it shatters into mini versions of itself. And then you have to, de- you have to defeat those two. Oh, my God. Uh, how do they pull it out, Mike? How do they get rid of your appendix? Because for the for, for the listener, you're not going to get to enjoy this as much as some of our viewers. Oh, because... don't show the viewers. Oh, okay. You won't can. Show... I mean, if yeah, you we'll, want we'll, to, we'll throw some uh, photos up on the on the Danny with Mike some website. graphic sagittal views yeah. of me being sliced in half. Are you mad because you had a perfect? Uh, the answer to a the perfectly are you shaped. Uh, do you the, have, are I did you, have a perfectly shaped did. navel. I know you have a perfectly shaped navel. I noticed that about you. It's something I noticed. It I'm a monster. Features. You know what? I took a pic. I took a picture of it before. <laughs> You're a monster. I'm a monster now. Uh, I I took a picture of my. As you my were perfect. doubled over in pain, you're like, "This is the last time I'm going to take a picture of my perfectly <laughs> sized navel." I, I did. Uh. I, I took a picture of my belly button. Wait, does that mean that in. it gets? Is it getting bigger? It means it's going to look like yours now, Jeremy. Mine looks fine. No, I- <laughs> Mine's an innie. Mine's a deep innie because of yours my weight. Is, I was going to say, sorry. yours is an innie, but it has an event horizon around it. <laughs> Mine's an innie too, bro. Yeah. Don't worry. Uh, I, um, you know, I could, <laughs> I, could smuggle, I could smuggle lint in there before. I'm not sure if I could yeah. smuggle lint in it now. So. I don't know why that wouldn't heal back, though. Let's check in every yeah, few months. Yeah. We could do a segment called House Mike's Navel. How's the balloon knot? Do you, um, <laughs> that could mean something else. A balloon knot could definitely mean something else. No, buddy. that's the belly buttons. Don't be gross, guys. <laughs> <laughs> An Ohio balloon knot. Yeah. Well, gents, um, what do you think about wrapping this little little episode up? And 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 uh, I, I would wrap it up like my belly was wrapped up after the, oh, the operation. Oh man, but, coming in hard it. again. Uh, but actually, no. I woke up. My uncle was there. I was all whacked out. And my shit was all like smeared with mm. kind of iodine. Yeah, you wake up all yellow, and, and you think it's blood. Exactly, you know, but it's not. It's not blood. It would have been. It would have been so Michael C. Morona to have an appendicitis during the wedding. He's standing up there, and just all of a mm. sudden he starts doubling over. I'm just saying, mm. speaking my vows, being yeah. so, mm. you know, little, just right little, in the moment. All of a sudden, uh, all of a sudden, Mike goes down. <laughs> oh, like when scene somebody, hogging. like when somebody. <laughs> like, oh my God, is he okay? Get a medic, medic! Uh, but like can we finish our vows? Oh, he's 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 puking up. Yeah, we got to like get. He's got a fever. Got to get him right now. He's not <laughs> farting. There's a problem. He's a schedule. He's off schedule. He's off schedule. And that's that's when I break it. Yeah, I'm finally yeah, like, oh, yeah. wow. what? What? Wait, he's not farting. That's a that's problem. problem. That's man. a problem. Yeah. Call we, a medic. Yes, yeah, stat. <laughs> well, we're glad you're okay, and we're it, glad it's not that... like when you get engaged at somebody else's wedding, right? <laughs> 
I didn't get engaged at somebody else's wedding. It sounded like it. Jeremy kind of said, for the guys, listener, when Danny guys, uh, gave the best man speech at bullshit. Brendan's wedding. At Brendan's wedding. I hate that. A bunch of people at the. I'm it, sure it, Brendan it did too. The, <laughs> it had the vibe of like Danny's uh, asking Kate to marry him. Absolutely not. But it, it was. There was one line in there, and I just. And it was. Well, the build up to that one line was the thing. That's no, what. Listen, the build up yes, to that was. line was me saying, hey, I want to know. I want to come back in a year and you answer these questions for me about being married. Okay. That's what it was. Uh, okay. I'm Get just telling you as that, a, that bur- burns my ass that Mrs. O'Rourke came up to me afterwards. Like, did you just propose? I, like, I would never do that. <laughs> she, so it was I her. I would never do she that. She wanted it. She wanted it more than you did. Uh, oh. Well, uh, we're glad you're you're okay, Mike. We're glad, uh, Danny, that you got uh, hitched. And uh, let's check in in a couple of weeks yeah. when I go see the the surgeon again. Yeah. The surgeon was was just a great guy. Yeah, he's a composer of films and television. And I know you're trying to wrap this up. Is that Federico true? Federico, what? Catorno. Oh, Federico Catorno, the only Italian in the building gets. There's plenty of Italians. Plenty of Italians in the building, but he was a good surgeon, and he, we talked about laparoscopies and. It was a wonderful. Did you talk about Italian soccer? We talked about Ennio Morricone. We didn't Whoa. talk about soccer one time. No, wow, interesting. He's kind of a big, World Cup's coming. Kind yeah. of a big guy. I'm just saying that you know. I think Italy's not in it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know who's yeah. selected. Yeah. USA's not and in it. Either. Neither is Correct. USA. Yes, Italy's not in it. Italy's not in it. No, oh. no. Oh they, boy, they could have been. They could have been. And, and Gigi Buffon fucked that up for everybody. Oh, man, that was right. Unfortunately, I hope he gets a pen. Anyway, gentlemen. <laughs> Um. Yes. What do you say? We wrap Let's up. Wrap hey, up. We're we, a part of the, uh, the last, last podcast, podcast network. network. Yeah. I'm very proud. Happy of it. to be here. Yeah. Thanks so much. And uh, give us a uh, money. I'm at at Remy Balin. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> At Remy Balin. Are you um, having an appendicitis? <laughs> Is it contagious? It's Ooh, not. Son of uh, a bitch. It doesn't spread. Um, I also have another podcast called Fresh Beef. Check that out. This is Danny Tamborelli at D Tamborelli or on Instagram at Danny Tamborelli because, you know. Because I couldn't get both. I wanted to have both, but I could not get both. Greedy, 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 a, greedy. To a message to the. Anyway, and this is at Michael C. Morona. Give him a shout if you have any political views you want to spout. How, uh, or medical, you know, medical, unsolicited medical, med- medical advice. Comic yeah. books. That's right. Gamergate. Right. C- con- whatever you like. Right. Whatever. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's, that is the one. I'm sorry. We're not going to. We are wrapping this <laughs> are, up right now. This is the never just, wrap up This episode. is the never ending. Uh, wrap up. I knew that Mike, something had happened to Mike before he had told me uh, that he had an appendicitis because I saw his constant. Uh, Twitter interactions mm. that were just happening. So I was like, he must be sick or something. He's laid up because it was like I had time. Eight, he had like eight hours in a row of mm. shit going on. I had time of recuper- <laughs> recuperating time. Not allowed good to thing, run around. Good thing it wasn't a heart attack because you wouldn't be able to. Yes. you would not be able to get on Twitter and start nice. going hard. That's true. Like that. I probably would be part of my uh, prescription. Would be no Twitter. No well, Twitter. Plus, you and the boy would have to cut the bacon. No, you know what? It's been great. Speaking of wrapping this up. <laughs> <laughs> it's been so great. I I like belatedly gave up bacon for Lent, okay. and then and then kind of made jokes about it with my bacon lady the whole time. Like, oh, it's see, yeah, yeah, you know, it's see in April, and I've only like hit it. I've only ah. had a pound of bacon since April first. So it's not. So it's not the bacon. It wasn't the bacon that did it? No. Yeah. No. That's good. And I don't even miss bacon. It's so weird. Like, but I do for it, so you don't have to call. The I'm ambulance. gonna. I'm gonna. Uh, <laughs> Start a documentary on what exactly <laughs> changing causes Mike. appendicitis. Changing no, Mike. Because you know what? I want to be that guy. I want to be the guy that goes after the guy that hurt my fake TV brother. Yeah. <laughs> right? I'm going to find out. I'm going to find out how an appendicitis happens he's and going, never have it happen again. He's going to pull, he's going to pull like a Seth Green in a, in a, a heist movie. Yeah. And, you know, use all the. He's going to hack all the surveillance cameras in New York City to go backwards and to take me back in time like I was talking about and be like, oh, it was when he had that dirty water dog. (laughs) (laughs) I'm just going to get rid of it. I'm just going to be like when when, when they circumcise little boys. Uh Okay. I'm just saying when that happens, when that happens, then I can be like, hey, guess what? Whenever all the babies are born, we're taking all your appendix just to make sure. Just just to check. Yeah. Okay. That's my prevention. You can keep your you can keep your foreskin, take the appendix. It's kind of like the. Godfather. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, keep the force. Keep the force. Take, take, take the appendix. appendix. That's a great episode. And uh, before we do, uh, we'll check us out on Patreon. Patreon.com slash Danny, Danny and Mike with the and spelled out. Danny, go to hell, guys. <laughs> Patreon members, thank you. <laughs> and uh, yeah, give us a sh- give us a look. See, thanks for tuning in. And just one more thing. Hit cut. Just kidding. Bye. 
The Adventures of Danny and Mike stars Danny Tamborelli and Michael C. Maruna. The show is produced by me, Jeremy Baylor. This podcast is part of the Last Podcast Network, which can be found at lastpodcastnetwork.com. Make sure to check that out for a ton of great shows. For more information on the guys, visit our website at dannyandmike.com. Also, look us up on Twitter at Danny and Mike with the N spelled out and on Facebook at facebook.com slash the adventures of Danny and Mike. Thanks for listening.